right. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my work orders view here or my grid. Um, I do have a different work order that I wanted to um, book for you just to show you guys that process. So this particular work order, you can see here, um, we are at the uh, business process flow stage of uh, schedule the work order, uh, schedule the work order. So I didn't talk about it much on our last page, um, but on each work order and on an agreement as well, um, there is a business process flow or this ribbon that's at the top of the page. And it's just supposed to assist your field service administrator with you know, creating the work order, scheduling it and closing it out. Um, these different steps um, that are associated to each stage can be customized based, can be customized based off of your requirements. Um, and so right now, like I said, we are in the schedule work order um, stage. So at this point, I can go ahead and click on this book button which means I want to book a resource. I want to actually schedule one of my resources to work on this or technician to work on this work order. So these are who I have available so far yet. And I'm going to say she's going to come tomorrow and she's going to start at 8.54. You know, I don't think that really matters, but she's going to go ahead and start and this time she's going to end at this time and I'm going to go ahead and book and exit. So now um, if I refresh my page here for my work order, we'll see in this little area, I now have a booking. That would means if I go to my schedule board here on the left hand side, this is basically a similar view to what we were just looking at and I find my resource Bernadette, I can look at her information and if I scroll to the right, I can see, oh look, she has a work order. She's gonna be out, you know, out in the field on Tuesday, you know, from for three hours. My view here based off of you know how I want to see this information. So let me change this from hours to days. See, I can see here, hey, she's booked for Tuesday for 3.1 hours here. Um, I can change my view um, to this as well. If I hit this drop down here, you can kind of see just, there's different ways that you can look at your list of resources or technicians and see what their availability is. Um, but for the most part, I like to keep it as a horizontal view. And uh, I like to keep it at hours for my testing and seeing who's available and whatnot, but you can, uh, Kind of edit this and change the settings as uh, you know, however you need to. Show you this particular resource, and I'm trying to find a better way to show you here. You can set up when you're setting up the resource record. So if I go to what was her name, Bernadette. If I go to my dear friend Bernadette here, I can look at this scheduling area and I can check her start location. Right now, it's set to resource address. So that's, you know, Bernadette's user or, you know, contact has, you know, contact has a address that is close to the specific client or customer we're looking at. I can change this to location agnostic or uh, organizational units address. So I have this organizational unit set to AF4 maintenance. So that's one type of like maintenance group. Um, or organizational unit that uh, might have specific resources assigned to it. If I do location agnostic, what that's going to location agnostic, what that's going to do is that's going to actually track Bernadette um, based off of where she's logged in. So I didn't do it for this particular example because I'm not in the Long Beach area right now. I'm actually in Washington State. So if I were to change this to location agnostic, any that would mean that any um, you know, if I were logged in as Bernadette, any um, customers that might be in within a 20 mile, um, she would pop up there for those work orders. So you can set her scheduling location here, um, as well as, you know, maybe the organizational unit. Um, there are ways, there's also a territory that you can set up for each bookable resource, as well as 
the customer record. So, you know, a customer record might be in the Pacific Northwest territory or something like that, or maybe just King County, since I'm in Washington area. Um, that might be the way that might be the way that you want to set that up. So you can do it many different ways, but there's we can definitely um, filter things out, uh, filter resources out based off of location and how close they are. So if I go back to um, my work order, and I know this one was scheduled, but uh, I'll just kind of bring it up again. So if I want to book this on the schedule board that comes up, schedule board that comes up on the left hand side, you can see here my work location is on site, right? Available duration has to be at least 30 minutes. And we have to have our resources that are within a radius of 20 miles um, of the on site work location. If I scroll down, there's also another area where I can add territories to further um, filter out my available resources.